Hello everyone and welcome back to Darius Has Vlogs! I got started looking off. I, don't, I just realized, I was like, man, I want to film this in a different spot, so let's film it. And then I decided to just have this dark room, which looks horrifying, <laughs> behind me. <laughs> just because uh, I haven't been in there either. I'll, well, no, I went in there earlier today because I had a, the circuit breakers in there. But yeah, I was like, I just want to go in, like, film in a different place. But I did not think of the dark, scary room. And it's actually freezing down here. So I'm going to keep this video probably pretty short. Because I am indeed freezing. This is my bedroom, and it is 61 degrees down here. 61. I'm dying. It's awful. Uh, so what happened today? Uh... Well, what happened yesterday? Cause I, well, what happened yesterday? I ended up, I ended up not going out to work. Come on, computer, you ruined my opening. Whatever, I'm, I don't even care. Cause I'm gonna keep going. Yeah, I ended up not going out to work out when I watched The Walking Dead. I just watched The Walking Dead, and then I continued to play some uh, Shadow of Mordor. Actually, got pretty far. I plan on beating it sometime. I didn't work out at all today. I just got back from all my other stuff that I gotta do. <sighs> Uh, I think my friend wanted me to go bowling, and I was like, I'm not going bowling. Are you crazy? It's Monday night, and I don't want to go bowling. <laughs> and so now I'm at the house about to clean up some stuff because my basement looks awful. Like, if, look, this is just this table right here. This is, this table represents everything that's going on. I got that Hardee's on uh Went Thursday, yes. I got the Hardee's on Thursday. I got the smoothie on Friday. I ate the applesauce on Saturday or something. I don't know. It's been all just sitting there. Just oh, and there's some. Ch they're all in a, like a Chinese food container, black container. It's blending into the black table. But yes, just like okay, Darius, you have. And then there's just candy wrappers all on my bed. Just Kit Kats. I ate. Two whole bags of that. I didn't realize I had I had three bags of it. I now have one bag and it was already open from when uh I was like, alright, one bag, it was open from like me and my friends were like over here playing a video game here and we were just eating stuff. We didn't even oh well, no, it was like my other friend, she's allergic to uh she's allergic to <laughs> peanut butter. Yeah, she's allergic to peanuts and peanut butter, so she couldn't eat any of the other candies we had, so uh she so had to eat a <laughs> okay, I'm tired. I didn't get my caffeine at all today. Like, I got, like, I took a caffeine pill this morning, but I didn't take another one. And I usually take one, like, during lunch. And then I usually take one, like, right as I'm about to leave work to head home so that by the time I'm home, it's kicked in and I'm just like, okay, energized. I didn't take one then. That's why I'm so tired. I fell asleep in my car. I was like, I literally just passed out of my car for, like, I kept being like, I, it had to have been like a minute, like four times. Like, I just kept like, I was looking at stuff on my phone, and I just like passing out. But yeah, the Kit Kats, yeah, my friend, she's allergic to peanut butter, so she had to eat the Kit Kats, so that's why they were open. And actually, I ate some, a few of those. But yeah, I ate a bunch of them this morning, and I felt awful today. I just had the worst stomach ache, because I ate, yeah, I ate the two bags of Kit Kats, which are at least about a pound. I don't know, at this. Probably why I'm so tired, too, because I'm just like, oh, okay, I had, like, a killer sugar rush all yesterday, and then it all hit me today. But, yeah, uh, it was, like, 14 ounces, I guess, in each bag. More than 14 ounces in each bag, so that's two. And then I had a half a bag of Twix, and I was just like, oh, God, this was awful. It's really all I ate yesterday. I ate some burritos after I finished filming. Uh, some mac and cheese, because my mom decided she was going to cook some mac and cheese. My mac and cheese she just decided to take it. And I love how the reason that she did that is because the oven, <clears throat> the oven broke. That's why I was like, man, it smells weird in here. The oven broke and it like set itself to clean and it's like, it's setting itself to clean right now. Like it won't cut off and it like set itself to clean and then it just like, so when it sets itself to clean, it locks so you can't open it and then it just like pumps itself up to the maximum heat. So that it can, and then it cuts on the fan, so it just like pretty much just chars everything to dust and then just like blows it away. And then it like sucks it up. But the problem with that is that uh, it wasn't set to clean, it had food in it, and it so it locked itself and then just started cooking this food at like a million degree temperature or whatever. And like, I'm just, that's what I'm like, why does it smell like, it just smells awful in here? And then my mom's like yelling at me, like as soon as I finish the video, Mom started screaming at me, and I'm like, what the heck's going on? 
and find out that it's because she's like yelling at me to cut the circuit breaker off for the oven and the microwave. And did I already say all this? I don't know. Yeah, I think I think that actually happened. Like she was like cut off the oven circuit breaker. But yeah, I had to cut off circuit breaker because the oven was about to like set something on fire. <laughs> it was awful. And then like she just opened it today because we were just like let's just keep it off for the rest of the day because there's no reason to cut it back on. Cut it on. And it's just sitting in, like, the chicken is just, like, literally, uh, it's two, it's two chicken breasts, and they are just, they've shrank down, and they're just black chunks and slight shapes of chicken breasts, and I was just like, oh my gosh, this is awful, and we don't know how to fix it, because we, like, cut it back on, because we put it back on, and it immediately unlocked itself. Then we, cut, like, we cut it back on, and it immediately locked, unlocked itself, but... It won't cut off, so it's just like the top and bottom racks are just like radiating heat. Like I put, we like my mom's like this thing is really hot for something that's not on, and then I'm like that's because it's on. You could like see the coils literally glowing orange with heat, and I was like okay, I don't know what to do about this, so we just cut it off. So now we don't have a stove, I mean an oven to cook anything, and I was like yeah that's fine, but the oven is also connected to our microwave upstairs, so. That means we don't have a microwave, so I'm stuck using this one up over there, and it's awful. It's just crappy microwave. I, I'm, yeah, my, yeah, sorry, microwave. Don't break on me because I said that. But yes, I don't like that microwave. It's not good, and if I do use it, I can't be on the internet or anything because it knocks me off the internet. It's, it's only while it's happening, so it's like for a minute or so, but it's like, oh, okay, this is dumb. I can't, like, internet and have something microwaving. Because, like, it's, it's dumb because it interrupts signal. It's all this stupid stuff. But, yeah, nothing else really interesting happened. Uh, I, I ended up taking, like, a breakfast sausage thing to lunch, and then I, like, cooked it. And it smelled, everybody was like, it smells delicious. And I was just like, and they were like, it looks delicious. I was like, yeah, it really needs syrup, though. And, and like, the breakfast sausage on a stick with the wrapped in a pancake, like corn dog. I was like, it's good. But yeah, it needed, so it needed, and that was all I had today. I was like, oh my gosh, I feel awful today. I, I just like, after lunch, I was like, I feel like I'm in a bad mood. Not because I was in like mega rush this morning because I have to like clean the fryers out before I start working on Mondays. Because I'm the guy, I like, I come in an hour early than you normally would, anybody normally would on Monday. And I clean the fryers out so that they're all clean for the week. Now, it would be fine, but... I like how I didn't have enough buckets to like, because you have to pump out the oil, drain it, and like go dump it in a giant oil bucket behind the store, and then fill it with new oil that we have. <clears throat> and like the pump, I thought the pump on the the fryer was broken all day, but it turns out whoever didn't pump it up last time didn't. I like I was like he thought he was like oh man I thought I was gonna I was doing the oil so I didn't do it, and I was like the thing is like full of just like all the old like because when you fry something like all that breading that just falls off it falls to the bottom of the fryer and then the fryer is made so that it can like catch it all in like a basin and that pumps all to the bottom so the oil has to go through that but it's like thick when it's like there's a lot of it and it was like it was like this thick so the oil can pump through it so i'm like i'm standing there waiting to pump the oil for like 20 minutes 20 minutes when it should only take like not even five minutes to do and yeah i didn't have enough buckets so i had to make two trips and then the 20 minutes for the fryer and then i had to clean the thing and it was so dirty that i had to like i couldn't pull it out it was ridiculous but yes it was all dumb and it was all because people from last night sunday night were just too lazy to just throw away some stuff and they were like, yeah, I thought I was going to be doing it. I was like, you never do it. You literally never do it. I've always done it on Monday. I've done it since I've worked there. And I've worked there for, well, it's like since we started doing it on Monday morning, I've done it. And that's been, it's been a year for that. So I'm like, the only day he probably would have done it would have been my birthday, which is the last day, Monday I had off. <laughs> like, yeah, it was like my birthday was the last Monday I had off. That was... The last time I was off on a Monday. I haven't been off on a Monday since my birthday. Like, because I don't take two vacation, vacations a year. I take one on the week of my birthday. I don't work the week of my birthday. And then I don't work the week of Christmas to, like, the weekend, the week space between Christmas and New Year's. So I was like, okay, that, 
You had no excuse. You're just ridiculous. I hate you. Yeah. And I was just like, it kind of upset me and soured me to the entire day. It actually didn't upset me. It was more like I was tired. And well, then my stomach was hurting too. So I was like, because all the candy, which are like, hey, I just realized I'm candy and I need to get out of here. And also, that's all that's in here. So brr, my stomach was just like dying. So I had to kept, keep going to the bathroom to either throw up or just use the bathroom. And it was just. Off. I think I went like three times in like one hour. So that kind of, it was like standing there pumping, go use the bathroom. Standing there doing this, go use the bathroom. It was just ridiculous. So yeah, <clears throat> crazy day, fun day. And then I got, I went on break and I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to take a nap. And then I ended up wanting to just heat up my little breakfast sausage. Then other friends started talking to me. So I ended up stuck in the break room eating lunch with him. And then I was like, oh, by the time... It was, I talked to him, I had eight minutes left in my break, <laughs> and I just stepped out of my car for a second, I was like, oh yeah, but then I realized I didn't have anything to drink to take my caffeine pill, and actually I didn't realize until I got inside, and I was like, I didn't take my caffeine pill, and I'm already clocked back in, so, didn't get one, didn't get one all day, so I'm tired, I'm about to go have my mom move furniture, just so I can probably leave this freezing cold basement and warm up, and then uh, I'm gonna probably hit the hay because I'm tired and I don't have anything else I need to do. I do actually want to clean up a little bit in here because I was like, I'm not going to work out probably this week simply because I want this basement and all of the stuff just like cleaned up because I'm tired of it. And I'm probably not going to clean again until like Christmas. So this uh, should be like a, a big cleaning for the week. And then we're also supposed to be filming probably sometime. So I was like, I'm also going to try to write a couple of things. It, it all depends on how I'm feeling like today. I was like, I hate trying to write on days where I worked because I'm just I'm automatically in a bad mood and I'm automatically tired and those make for bad writing for me so yeah but now I'm actually feeling pretty good I had a beer I felt really manly and as you can see I've I, I'm not allowed to not shave like I'm not allowed to have a beard for work so I have to shave that but I do keep my mustache for no shave November and I don't shave anything else so I have the makings of a terrible, terrible mustache coming in. You guys get to see it every day as it grows worse and worse and creepier and creepier. And I hope you enjoy it because I don't enjoy it. I hate it. It's awful. I don't like trying to block this light because like, what is this light behind me? There's no lights behind me. They're like, oh, it's the mirror bouncing this light behind me. But I've talked enough. I've talked a lot. And I am now probably just miss my mom like where the heck is he he said he'd be up here in like 20 minutes so until next time thank you for watching everybody i'll catch you all later and bye bye